Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick preview to the Flyers versus Canucks after they were able to beat the Edmonton Oilers 5-3, thanks to a great game by Cam Atkinson, Nate Thompson getting one, obviously, and then G getting one as well, and then Coots with the empty net goal. So let's get right into tonight's ball game, as it is going to be Martin Jones in net tonight for the Philadelphia Flyers with Yaroslav Halak as the projected for the Vancouver Canucks. Obviously, the Flyers have experience with Halak, some good, some bad. Obviously, the playoffs that Richie was able to score in him earlier in his career, and then some success Halak had against us during his tenure in Boston. But the Canucks team, obviously, coming in at 3-3-1 and to our Flyers 3-1-1, and we took on the 5-0 and Oilers yesterday and were able to get a win against them. So this Canucks team, obviously, is a very good team but it's not to the same degree of a hot start of them early. So it's great momentum beating the hot, one of the hottest teams in hockey, I should say, in the Edmonton Oilers early on and being able to carry that momentum into playing the Vancouver Canucks. Pulling up the Canucks schedule, the last time they played was Tuesday in a loss, a 3-2 loss to Minnesota. So they obviously do have that extra day of rest for the Flyers. So, so normally that means the team that played yesterday will come out a little bit sharper early, but then you might see some tiring, so the Flyers are going to have to counterbalance that, kind of like I said in my preview yesterday, which they did perfect in the Oilers game. Whenever anything came back against them, it was a tie game. The Flyers always had an answer. It's not like they played the most seamless, perfect 60 minutes yesterday. That was kind of a combination of the Seattle game, getting off to a solid start, and then a combination of the Boston game where they had to get through adversity and did it really well. So that's what you would think you would have to do against a Canucks team, particularly when you had to play yesterday and then travel from Edmonton to Vancouver, where they just stayed <clears throat> after um, losing their game on Tuesday, so it is going to be a little bit different there for the Flyers when it comes to the tiredness as time goes on, but if they come out aggressive in this game just like they did yesterday against a Canucks team that obviously does not have the same, at least this early in the season, pushback that you have seen from the Edmonton Warriors, they've been a good team, a solid team to get to 3-3-1, three, three and one. but they've been kind of inconsistent early on this season. So that's a key to this game, how we took advantage of Miko Koskinen's mm -hmm. weaknesses last night. you got to try to take advantage of the Canucks' inconsistencies, which you've seen throughout games early on this season. But when it gets to the lineup, their first line for the Canucks is Tanner Pearson, Bo Horvat, and Connor Garland, who was obviously a very good pickup for them. you got to watch his shot. Then they have Vasily Pakolzin, a very young player that we already have scored against us. Got to watch him, JT Miller, and Brock Besser. Then, of course, you have Niels Hoglander, Elias Pettersson, and Justin Bailey. So, of course, our Flyers are looking to take it to the Canucks and play a good, concise, complete game, unlike they did in the first game where they really had to battle, obviously, back in the end. You don't want to have to do that. You want to play a more complete game, beat them in their house like they beat us in our house. The final line when it comes to that is Matthew Highmore, Yuho, excuse me, Lamico, and Alex Chason. So that's how their lines shake out. And we have OEL, Tyler Myers, Quinn Hughes with Luke Shen, and Kyle Burrows with Brad Hunt with Yari Halak in net. Their injuries are Tucker Pullman, Jason Dickinson, Justin Dowling, Brandon Sutter, Brady Keeper, and Tyler Mott. Um, when it comes to the Flyers, we have Philadelphia did not hold, obviously, a morning skate today after the game yesterday. Ellis is still day-to-day, -day, so he will not be in tonight's game. So the line there would still be Nick Sealer with Keith Yondel. Early on, we had that a lot this season with the way injuries have been. But that's why you have a seventh defenseman that's very capable like Nick Sealer. And then you have Sanheim with Ristolainen, who played great like a warrior yesterday. Great to see him back in there tonight. That's why you got Risto. He's a warrior on the ice, whether it comes to his physical play or putting himself on the line for the team, and we saw that yesterday. Ivan Provorov with Justin Braun. And then when it comes to the lines from fourth to first, we got Abe Kubel, Thompson, and McEwen. Lindblom, Lawden, and Van Riemsdyk. Farabee, Broussard, and Atkinson. And then Giroux, Couturier, and Konechny. Obviously, the line that you're watching every night, obviously you're going to always be watching the captain's line because it's also a really good line. But the line you're going to be watching every night early on is that Fairby, Broussard, and Atkinson one. Cam Atkinson has been a godsend. Apparently, it's the first streaks of both Claude Giroux and Cam Atkinson's careers where they had five-game point streaks coming into the season. So kudos to them. Let's keep the winning ways going. Let's keep that aggressive play going. And also, just like the Flyers had an answer, obviously, 
in the end, you want to have it just like the Flyers had a great game against the Kraken, and then in the Bruins game, they battled through adversity. This game, you want to come out strong because you're the team that just played yesterday. You want to show that you're kind of a lot more like tape-to-tape -tape passes and all that early. Try to take advantage of that. And then when the tiredness sinks in, that's exactly like they did against the Bruins. They started overcoming different adversities in that game and just figured out a will where there's a way. That's what I've liked from this team early on, even if they haven't played their most complete, concise 60 minutes. They've found a will and there's a way mentality this year that seemed to be lacking a little bit more last year and I think that's going to need to be used against a Vancouver team who has quick skaters like the Bessers, the Pedersons of the world, even Highmore can move a little bit. So you have those guys that can move. Connor Garland skates very well. So you're going to have to be able to keep up with them through the course of the game when you're the team that played last night. They're coming off of a day's rest. So I think our Flyers will be able to have a very good game tonight against this Vancouver Canucks team. I feel like this game will come down to the wire, but will not be as, de or, excuse me, as offensive as last night's game, just because <clears throat> we might score like the four or the five again. But I feel like we'll be able to limit Vancouver a little bit more when it comes to not having them also come out and have opportunities to score. Of course, Hart limited it to three, but more than three goals in a game. I feel like they're an easier team in this instance early on from what I've seen in the season to kind of limit offensively. That's why they have some inconsistencies than the Edmonton Oilers are. But that's just my two cents in the game. This has been a game preview of Philadelphia Flyers. Let's keep those winning ways going against Vancouver tonight for Martin Jones back at home where he's going to be playing in front of family just like we did for Carter Hart last night. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Let's go Flyers. Get that victory tonight. Peace out, everybody.